Today we're going to be looking at the M5 paper which Banggood have sent me to share with you. I've put a link to it in the video description if you'd like to buy your own. The M5 paper is essentially an ESP32 tablet with a 4.7 inch e-ink touch display. The combination of a Wi-Fi enabled tablet with accessible I.O. as well as an ultra low power consumption touch display really opens up a world of possibilities for home automation, dashboards, monitoring and data logging. The 540 by 960 pixel e-ink display supports two touch points and 16 grey levels and only uses power to change the image, so the device can continue to display an image even when it's turned off. On the sides we've got a micro SD card slot and a multifunction button. It is charged and programmed through a USB-C port on the bottom alongside an expansion port. On the other side we've got two additional expansion ports. Like the other M5 boards, the M5 paper has Wi-Fi and dual mode Bluetooth. It also has a built-in SH30 sensor which measures temperature and humidity. You turn it on by pressing the sensor button on the side and it's got a basic demo program preloaded. This allows you to do a factory test of the sensors in I.O. There are also a few preloaded mini apps like this home automation dashboard. I'd definitely like to try and get this to drive my Philips Hue lights in future. It's amazingly responsive for an e-ink display and it does partial updates in well under a second. It's obviously a lot slower than an LCD or LED display, but if you've used an e-ink display before then you'll really appreciate how well they've managed to get this one to work. There are a few drawbacks to the quick updates. You'll see a bit of ghosting on more solid images, but you should hardly notice this through normal use. Overall, the image quality is crisp and clear, and you get quite a lot of detail out of it. Pressing the power button on the back instantly turns it off, keeping whatever is currently displayed. You then just push the middle button to start it up again. Now let's try making and loading our own basic program onto it. The M5 paper is also compatible with the Arduino IDE but we're going to try and use UIFlow to create a basic weather dashboard. To start you'll need to use M5 Burner to load the UIFlow firmware. M5 Burner also allows you to burn a couple of other pre-made programs onto it, like this Microsoft to-do list dashboard. The dashboard connects to your Microsoft account and pulls your own to-do list onto your device. Now let's install UIFlow and try to build our own dashboard. The UIFlow firmware creates an API key which you'll need to enter into UIFlow in your browser to connect to your M5 paper. You can then start building your own dashboard. UIFlow is a block coding and MicroPython IDE which allows you to drag and drop blocks to create basic programs in your browser and then wirelessly upload them to your M5 paper device. It's got a reasonably long list of features and it's really easy to use, so you can quickly and easily create your own programs with very little programming experience. It's definitely a bit limited for the M5 paper though, so you'll probably want to use the Arduino IDE if you've got more ambitious plans for your programs. UIFlow for the M5 paper has a lot of room for improvement to make it easier to use the touch display. For example, it would be a lot easier to enable touch inputs on shapes, buttons or images to build control panels. For now I'm going to create a basic temperature and humidity dashboard which shows the date and time, as well as a sun or moon depending on whether it's daytime or nighttime. 
This dashboard took around 15 minutes to make and upload to the device. Let me know what you think of the M5 paper in the comment section. I've put purchase links for the device in the video description if you'd like to get one for yourself. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.